So I saw Mr. Ryan. He is a 40-year-old man with um, lightheadedness as his chief complaint, has no past medical history, and he was found to be in atrial fibrillation, which is a new diagnosis for okay. him. So I think the differential for his lightheadedness actually is pretty broad, but sort of narrowing to my top two um, uh, diagnoses would be symptomatic atrial fibrillation and orthostatic hypotension. Okay, good. Um, which one are you leaning towards more right now and why? Well, I think I'm leaning more towards the symptomatic atrial fibrillation because this is a new diagnosis for him, so certainly a new onset could be causing him to have a new symptom. And he doesn't really have anything in his history that would suggest that he's at risk for volume depletion, hasn't had any um, GI symptoms, no decrease in his oral intake. Okay. And we checked orthostatic blood pressures on him, which were normal. Great, okay, perfect. Um, do you have any questions about his case or his presentation? Well, I was wondering what underlying causes of atrial fibrillation we need to be concerned about in him. Good, good question. Um, the two easiest things to get started with, since there are a lot of things that we should be thinking about, um, one is to ask him a question about his alcohol intake, because that can mm -hmm. cause atrial fibrillation. And the second thing would be to make sure that his thyroid levels are normal. That can also cause atrial fibrillation. We can talk about the other things too. Uh, that can cause or contribute to AFib as uh, as we learn him and, and talk to him a little bit more. So the plan for him today, I think, is rate control um, for his atrial fibrillation I and um, to think about anticoagulation for stroke prevention for him. Perfect, uh, perfect. So tonight when you go home, since he's young and maybe a little bit different than some of our other patients that have uh, atrial fibrillation, why don't you read about the indications for long-term oral anticoagulation in a patient like him? Okay. Okay, all right.